Welcome to Bedford Stuyvesant, or as most of us like to call it, Bed Stuy. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the restaurants, bars, architecture, and rich culture that makes this neighborhood so unique. Let's go. I'm Craig Samuel, and this is Peaches. Peaches is one of my neighborhood favorites. What do you think that makes it such a destination for people to come? People love our food, definitely. But I think what really makes uh, Peaches a special destination in Bed-Stuy is our sense of hospitality. Uh, my, my restaurant is named after my wife's grandmother, uh, who was, whose real name was Marietta, but I used to call her Peaches. And she personally gave me this, such a sense of hospitality uh, when I met her that I, I really wanted that to come through here in Peaches. Well, Bed-Stuy is all about community. When you walk the streets of Bed-Stuy, you say hi to your neighbors, for real. You walk down the street and you're, you're wave at people and you just have this tremendous sense of community. And uh, I think that's what makes it special in 2017 New York. What do you think attracts people to make Bed-Stuy their home? There's tremendous housing stock here. The, the brownstones rival brownstones anywhere. It's walkable, you know, you, you stroll the streets, you find something new every time you turn a corner. Even more than that, a lot of people who are here now, they work from home. And this is just a great place to work. So describe your perfect day if you're gonna take your wife out in bed -Stuy. My perfect date in bed -Stuy would start at Peaches, uh, and we'd have a couple of cocktails, and then we'd stroll over to uh, Ken's Jerk Shop, which just opened on the corner of Lewis and McDonough. The best jerk chicken, not just in New York, but anywhere. Uh, rice and peas, kale, ital stew, it's just, it's an amazing place. and this is Juices for Life Best Eye. For someone not familiar with Juices for Life, explain to me um, a little bit about the brand and who are the founders of the business. So Juices for Life is a chain. It's uh, four locations all together. There's one in Brooklyn, one in Yonkers, two in the Bronx. Styles P is the guy that put everything together, and then he came into business with Angela Yee and DJ MV, and then we have the Brooklyn location. So Brooklyn's a, obviously a huge borough. What, um, what made you guys decide to come into bed -Stuy? Well, Angela's idea was to bring juices for like to Brooklyn, and um, in her neighborhood of where she lives, bed -Stuy, and that's what she wanted to do, and she did it. How was it well received by the community? coming here to uh, Bed-Stuy? Oh my God, um, I'm here pretty much every day. So on a daily basis, people come in and they're like, thank you so much for bringing this to Brooklyn. Can you bring one closer to my house? <laughs> How important is it to really um, have people start to think more about health conscious decisions? You know, it's so easy to go to the Chinese restaurant because they're on every corner, or the chicken spot because they're on every corner. But you know, to go grab a juice, it's gonna fill you up just the same way, and it's gonna cost you about $5. We make sure we keep our prices low, you know, so like I said, for our community, and we do want people to get healthy and get more involved. It's just great to have a juice bar instead of a liquor store in your community. What's the one word you would use to describe this stuff? Hmm. For us in Juices for Life, I would say love. And that's one of our, our, you know, phrases, love is love. I feel like we get so much love in this community and, um, you know, I just think it's great. Like, everybody just comes and looks out and they, you know, they just always make sure that they support us. If you're on a date here in bed -Stuy, Okay. clearly you come to Juices for Life. Yeah. But tell me, where else would you go in bed -Stuy? I actually wouldn't even have to move my car. And all I would have to do is walk across the street. We have Shea Oscar, which is a very good, it's a French restaurant. And then Casablanca, it's a great bar, nice setting, good music, and it's, it's just really cool. Biggie. Can't talk about bed style without mentioning the notorious B.I.G., Christopher Wallace. This mural 
was painted in 2015 by local artists Rocco and Zimmer. But can you believe the landlord wanted to destroy it by adding new windows to fetch more rent? It was a public outcry. Local residents, hip hop fans from across the country, TI, even the congressman got involved in reversing this decision to destroy this mural. Right here in Bedford and Quincy, the hip hop legend still stands. Biggie. What inspired you to open an art gallery in Bed-Stuy and how have you been received by the neighborhood? What inspired me was my passion, love and appreciation for art. Tell me a little bit about the influence of art and culture in the neighborhood. Well, speaking specifically to Richard Bieber's gallery, art and culture are synonymous with each other. From the standpoint of all of the artwork in here, it depicts various aspects of everyday life in the inner city or urban environments. Uh, through the gallery, we also have a lot of art that addresses a lot of the social and political issues that are prevalent in society today. Okay. You know, so when you come in here, everything that is reflective of this community, this neighborhood, our experiences, is exactly what Richard Deepers Gallery stands for. How have the recent changes in the neighborhood affected your business experience? Uh, it's been a positive experience. Okay. As neighborhoods grow, change is inevitable. Uh, I actually get a lot of phone calls from people saying that they know we do custom framing and they really want to keep the money in the community and they want to come out and support the gallery and support the custom framing that we do. So I've definitely seen an increase in framing, uh, an increase in the interest in art. Uh, so, you know, I'm doing well. Uh, we're going to continue to grow and as always, the community has been very supportive of the gallery. I'm vested in this community, you know, it's not just a business for me, it's also about creating jobs, uh, creating opportunity, bringing culture, and uh, making a positive impact and influence in this community that my wife and our family, we have five children, that we also call home. So you just mentioned your wife, so imagine you were taking her out on a Sunday date. Describe the ideal date in bed style. We can start off in the morning, you know, we can go to the Haitian cafe around the corner, um, you know, and get one of our favorites, which is the lemon ginger iced tea. Um, then from there, we can go down and stop off at uh, Brooklyn Swirl, which, is, which Gene is at. Uh, then we have peaches, we have beso. I mean, it's just so many different options, you know. And then just walking through the community and knowing people by name. You know, it's not just a neighborhood, it's a community where we actually support, we embrace each other, you know, children play together. So we can literally spend an entire day without having to leave outside of our community. And we're able to do that because we're so close-knit, you know, and people look out and take care of each other in that style. Exactly. <laughs>